Right, here we've got two internal 17 module, well, one's an 18, this is a 17 module, the Clipsal. And I'm just going to uh, just quickly have a, a chat about the difference of the two. You'll notice here on the Clipsal internal um, flush, it's already got a metal back on the back of the switchboard, so we don't have to try and actually get a metal plate inside the internal wall. Here we have the, the Hagar, it's an 18 module board, it's all plastic on the back. So what, what, what you've got to do is you have to install this inside the internal wall so it can be earth. So if anybody um, runs a screw through from behind the wall through, the idea is it will hit this, run through, hit a cable and we'll just trip out your, your safety switch. So that's the idea of that. So by going Clipsal, we don't have to worry about trying to in install all that internal metal plate. And if we just look inside these two switchboards, let's take that cover off. And we'll just take off, just open up the door here. This will come off. And here we have, you can look inside both switchboards. We've got actually a bit more room underneath the DIN rail on a Clipsal switchboard to be able to run your cables in behind it when you're trying to hide cables. Um, all the, the earth and neutral bar across the top is actually screwed in, it's bolted in so it's nice and secure, it's nice and solid. And we've got plenty of um, punch outs that you can um, knock these out and put bushes in to protect your cables. And on the Hagar, it, it is a lot tighter behind that buzz bar to try and get cables behind it. And also the internal uh, neutral bar and earth set up across the top. It just clicks in. So we've been to some jobs over time where this, this just falls out and, and it, it gets that loose. Because people uh, are pushing them in and pulling them out all the time. And over time they just get weak. And this can, uh, yeah, it's not as strong because you can't bolt it in anyway. So, but just gives you an idea of what you can use between a Hagar internal flush switchboard or a Clipsal. Uh, the clips all, uh, yeah, it's already got a metal back on it, so it's nice and easy to install. And this can be earth, and that's what you've got to do now on all internal switchboards. We'll also be running a anaconda down inside the wall, and we'll be able to knock out one of these knockouts and, and bolt it in so it's all metal, so it's all earth straight away, so we don't have to run a separate um, earth on your anaconda. Um, so this can be earth straight away as it runs up the internal wall. Um, as it's not protected by a safety switch, you sub mains coming into the switchboard so you need to run anaconda down the internal wall and that must be earth that metal down there so yeah so that's the two switchboards all right we're just in the laundry where we're going to actually cut a section out here to put our internal subboard in our flush mount the other advantage going on the clipsal switchboard it's 419 millimeters wide so once we've found our stud, we've also found a metal beam down through here. So we're going to come down roughly through here so we don't actually cut that internal bracing. So if I measure between our stud, we've got about 422 millimeters and the Clipsal switchboard is 419. So once we cut this hole out, it's going to fit in nice and snug and we can run screws, you know, three or four screws down on each side to make it nice and strong in the wall. If we did go the Hagar switchboard, it's 460 mil wide. So we've got no choice but to try and cut part of the stud on both sides to try and make it. So that's a lot more work that you have to do to install a Hagar uh, internal switchboard in this, uh, in this wall. So Clipsal's definitely much easier for us to install. So we're gonna go Clipsal on this, on this install.